So shout out to the Shake Squad, Nody Gang Stand Up. You know who it is. It's time for my NBA 2K21 Ultimate Dribbling Tutorial. There's been a lot of changes from 2K20. So we're gonna start off with the basics and finish with the advanced momentum and park dribbles. Before we even begin to dribble, we start off with the triple threat. Because there's a lot you can do with this without even a high ball control. Carmelo Anthony is one of the best ever out of the triple threat. So we're gonna start with him. In order to do this while in a standing position before you begin dribbling, tap the right stick in any direction for a jab step. If you tap the right stick away from the defender, you'll do a pump fake. In most cases, they'll give you the space you need for an easy jumper. Over Butler. Shots good by him. You can also spin out of the triple threat, which is another good way to surprise your defender with a burst of speed. Peep how fast it is when you do it out of a step through. While in a standing position, simply rotate the right stick in a half circle in either direction. And since they brought back the size up dribbles, you can do a size up right out of the triple threat. All you have to do is hold the right stick towards the defender before you ever begin your first dribble. Listening to the community from 2K20, the devs decided to bring back the rhythm dribbles. While in a standing dribble, simply hold the right stick towards your defender. The walking size up is back, and they're different for different players. In order to do a walking size up, hold the right stick up towards your defender and immediately move the left stick towards your defender. Something new that we haven't had in a long time is the retreat size up. Simply move the right stick up, then the left stick down or away from your defender, and you'll start dribbling backwards. And you can do this all the way till you're out of bounds. Now keep in mind the rhythm dribbles and the size ups are not designed for 2K to hold your hand. You're still gonna have to do some manual crossovers. To do this one, simply tap the right stick up left and up right repeatedly, and you'll do some basic manual crossovers. But Tatum at the four. Walker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt, and it's Tice. Here's a great example of the between the legs crossover from Kemba Walker. Simply tap the right stick left and right repeatedly. We also have Kevin Durant doing the crossover escape, which is great for creating separation and getting a blow by. To pull this off, you don't want to tap the right stick, you want to press the right stick up left or up right. Now by pressing the right stick left or right, you can also do a between the legs crossover escape and even walk the ball up the court doing so. Experiment by holding R2 or RT to do other between the leg crossovers. Here we have one of the fastest players in 2K21, De'Aaron Fox. He's utilizing one of the most underrated moves, the hesitation crossover. To do this, you wanna tap the right stick left or right towards your ball hand, then hold sprint and cross over to your free hand. So now let's take a look at Donovan Mitchell with the hesitation escape move. All you have to do is press the right stick left or right towards your ball hand. Now if you tap the right stick down left or down right repeatedly, you can dribble behind your back. By holding R2 or RT and tapping the right stick down left or down right repeatedly, you can walk the ball up the court going behind your back. Now here I have Tony Parker doing a hesitation behind the back combo. All I'm doing is tapping the right stick towards my ball hand and immediately tapping the right stick down left or down right. Right here I'm going to abuse the behind the back escape move with my my player. Simply press the right stick down left or down right repeatedly. As deadly as this move is, it's also easier than it was in past 2Ks. Now let's take a look at another underused move, the in and out crossover blow by by Dwayne Wade. Tap the right stick up right or up left towards your ball hand, and then hold sprint and cross over left or right. This is a great way to freeze your defender with tight handles. Once again, Kevin Durant is one of the most overpowered dribblers in 2K. Right here I'm gonna show you a step back behind the back escape move. Hold R2 or RT and tap the right stick down to initiate the step back. Immediately tap the right stick down right towards your free hand and move the left stick up right towards your free hand. LeBron James is one of the best playmakers in basketball. He's also great at dictating pace and resetting his dribble. This is how we do a spin reset dribble. Simply rotate the right stick in a quarter circle from your ball hand to away from your defender. Now unfortunately 2K21 shipped with ankle breakers deactivated. 
but the snatchback dribble is definitely an ankle breaking move. While moving forward or sprinting, simply tap the right stick down or away from your defender. Kemba Walker has some of the most dangerous crossover snatchbacks in the NBA. Right here we're doing the hard stop crossover which used to be a major ankle breaking maneuver. While sprinting across the three point line, tap the right stick towards your free hand. Ankle breakers will be addressed in the next patch. And I'm not sure if this will break ankles like in past 2Ks, but this is still an effective move nonetheless. Now one of my favorite ways to break ankles is the half spin snatchback. Mainly because it's two ankle breakers in one. The half spin can break you and obviously the snatchback can too. You want to rotate the right stick a quarter circle towards your ball hand and then tap the right stick away from the defender. Now we're going to get into some more intermediate to advanced moves. This is the double behind the back move. Just tap the right stick down right towards your free hand and then immediately down left and repeat. As you can see this can definitely stun and confuse your defender. Now easily a fan favorite and a welcome return is the Jamal Crawford double behind the back dribble. You want to tap the right stick down right towards your free hand and then immediately press the right stick down left and press the left stick up left. Do this in a quick motion and you'll get that animation. Now if you want to see the double explosive behind the back move, go no further than Kevin Durant. You want to tap the right stick down right towards your free hand, immediately tap left stick up right towards your free hand, and repeat but reverse. So if the ball is starting in your left hand, it's right stick down right, left stick up right, and then immediately right stick down left, left stick up left. Now I'm in practice so I don't have any stamina. So don't think you could just do this forever. Now here's another move that used to stumble defenders in 2K20, the Boopty, aka Kyrie Carry. To do this, you want to tap the right stick down right towards your free hand and immediately tap the left stick up left towards your ball hand. So you're moving the right and left sticks in opposite directions. Another good move that makes a return from 2K16 is the running step back spin move. I used to use this all the time in the park and it really hasn't been in 2K in a long time. So we're gonna use one of the newer elite fast ball handlers in John Moran. While running across the three point line, tap the right stick away from the defender, that'll create the step back, and then immediately rotate the right stick from the ball hand to your free hand. Can't do a dribble tutorial without paying homage to one of the best ball handlers in NBA history, Tim Hardaway, with his running double crossover. This is another effective move that has a history in breaking ankles. With the ball in your right hand, tap the right stick left then immediately right. Now this one goes all the way back to 2K14, the running cross behind the back. This move used to stumble defenders and with the right behind the back animation, give you a tremendous amount of separation. If the ball is in your right hand, while running, tap the right stick left then down. The running spin move is still effective and even better with your my play. While running, simply rotate the right stick from your ball hand to your free hand. New to 2K21 is the running split the defense dribble. If the ball is in your left hand, tap the right stick down right, then left. This move could freeze a defender, help you split between two defenders, and even be chained into an ankle breaker animation. Now we'll move right out of the M1 mixtape era and straight from an Allen Iverson shoe commercial, the running Iverson spin dribble. All you have to do is rotate the right stick in a full circle from the ball hand all the way back to the same ball hand. Now this is what the community calls the momentum dribble. The 2K dev team has a different name for momentum dribbling in the dribble controls. But since this is for the community and we don't want any confusion, we're going to maintain calling this the momentum dribble. If the ball's in your left hand, tap the right stick right and immediately left stick right, repeat and reverse. If you do it fast enough, you can do a double momentum dribble. There's quite a few things you can do after you initiate the momentum dribble. Right here I'm doing a momentum behind the back escape with LeBron James. You want to initiate the momentum dribble, then press the right stick down left or down right. Now here's one of my personal favorite, the Sham God. This won't break ankles, but it definitely confuses real life players. You want to initiate the momentum dribble, then tap the right stick down. It always makes the defender think you're going one way and you can actually explode back the other. Once again, I'm using my my player who's a pure playmaker doing the running Sham God. If the ball's in your right hand, tap the right stick right, then left. When the patch comes out, this will definitely make defenders stumble. 
Now finally, we're gonna take a look at some of the park size up moves. The park dribbles have actually changed this year. To initiate a park size up, simply tap L2 or LT repeatedly. You couldn't do a park size up in 2K20 without making contact with the defender. So I'm glad they've made a return. Now for the park contact dribbles, which do require you to make contact with the defender and also provide for some of the craziest animations in 2K21 altogether. This is where you're going to see a lot of nutmeg dribbles, some crazy spin moves, and a lot of things you might have seen in an and one mixtape or somebody's crazy ball handling skills on Instagram. To do these, simply make contact with the defender and tap L2 or LT in any direction. Most of the time I tap L2 while moving the left stick towards my defender. So make sure you experiment at different angles and at different positions. Also keep in mind the majority of the dribbles you saw in this video require an 86 ball handle or at least playmaker takeover. So keep that in mind as well. As I mentioned earlier, ankle breaker animations are just not in the game at the moment, but they will be after the patch. So when that time comes, experiment with some of the moves in this video, and you'll definitely be stumbling and dropping defenders. So this concludes my dribble tutorial for 2K21. As always, I go off the top when I make these videos, so if I made any mistakes, help me out in the comment section below. It's your boy Shake. I look forward to your top 10 clips. Smack that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Verse is food, every song is dinner. I belong with winners, only the strong is finished. So you could be cool or you could wow to the end, but the same rules apply from now to then.